we're, we're trying to get material all the time because we only set up about six years ago, so we're trying to um, go out and find new old stuff. And the guy phoned up and said that they discovered some portfolio of his grandparents in his loft and went to this place, and it was literally um, above a garage, and the, the roof had fallen in, and there's a big trunk, wooden trunk, and lifted up the lid, and there's dead pigeon on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, it's been cleaned, but... <laughs> 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 Stop it there because it goes on a bit. I like this model. Yeah. But I have no idea how to link it to the project. So. Okay. No, it looks Tumble like down. one building from far away, but when you go closer, it, it does remind me a little bit of that design you did last year. I mean, it's less structured. Yeah. It's called Adenalta, which is Atlantis spelled backwards. Is there images of it being worn? Yeah, basically, the building would have these panels, and if something could be pressed, the panels would open up like flowers. Wow. That's what I've seen is if not possible. That's a lot of, that that'd be a lot of hydraulics. Um, so this guy built this model. It's using foam board, bits of car, a lot of lot of spray paint, um, bits of wire and of course all the electrical things. Um, and what he does is, is I mean this is kind of an interesting project so far, but what he does is takes it a, a step further and he submits it to Google Earth and it gets accepted as actual real place. Where is this drawing? You give it a single drawing. It's <laughs> yeah. invisible. Yeah. Yeah. It's in his head. Yeah. Um, so, um, oh, is it here? Is it that one in the middle? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible for now. <laughs> he basically tries to lay out like a sort of comic book panel on okay. the moment. And each panel has something related to either Japanese culture or the building that was in there. I remember the page where the actual kimono was on. But it's for a Japanese embassy um, in London. And he, instead of actually kind of doing standard plans, you know, as um, the majority of people would do, he decided to um, create a kimono. Sure, that's fine, but he did some uh, light and reflection uh, building so that it was like a shape. There was like a shape that he made and he showed the. Uh, rotation of the sun and what pattern will be there in each hour. Um, okay, it's for, like a, the building is like a big sun dial. Uh, so, yeah. You had a bit of a competition about who could draw the lines. And that was, that was no competition because I already knew I was going to win. Do you think that's why your lines are more chaotic? Yeah, well, I don't like straight lines to begin with, so... That's why I will never be an architect. <laughs> but, um, just one, I, I've got yeah. a pathetic architect's comment. They, they're different groups. They're, the pyramid has a square face, doesn't it? Yeah. Because there's another pyramid before which has a triangular face. And what's that? You know, you know. If that's got equal sides, it's a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron. Mm. But for architects, I don't know whether any of you go to study architecture. <clears throat> the triangle is really important because the triangle is very stable. Hmm. So structurally, you're always trying to make triangles. Because it spreads the force. Yeah, rectangles are very bad. Because they can... What are you looking for? Like, more into modern, modern, modern age, but every, like, where I found was a... I can't believe project. there's nothing on modernism here. No, I found, <laughs> I found the project was made in the 20s, 1920s. Okay. So. We can certainly pull out loads of modernist stuff, like from 50s, 60s kind of working with like already existing objects and yeah. then, but then I'm also trying to like aim to make like performance of this right. like video right. stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's really interesting because this year is, is the 100th anniversary of women being admitted to the AA um, and we've got this big programme of kind of a symposium coming up and a book um, and a big exhibition. Do you have anything like that here? Is token or yeah. you know, utopian high concept? Yeah. So that might be something you could like. It's a weird yeah. utopian thing. It's a utopia where humans and pigs could live. They show us like a video. <laughs> They're like it's a bunch so of weird. pigs running, <laughs> running yeah. around. Yeah. It's like a building where pigs and humans could live in together. Like. <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know what's the answer. 
I'm not trying to change the <laughs> Hungarian society by myself. You think you might want to study architecture? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> That's only one of your careers you want. Yeah. What's your second career? Yeah, philosophy. <laughs> Intensely architectural and probably maybe even quite boring to these young students that AA's archive. And then you draw a bird or a man with big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> We've got about half an hour left here today. And we should start thinking about what's going to happen on Monday. Uh, and we did have tomorrow at college to kind of work on a few bits and pieces to get ready. It's quite a hard project. But yeah. Do you think so? Yes. To go into a strange room, okay. look at some drawings you've never seen before, and then somebody say, "Well, go on, draw." Yeah. You feel like saying to them, "No, you draw." <laughs> <laughs>